just for you, what does it kind of mean to have an opportunity like this with the Milwaukee Bucks? Uh, well, it's everything. Obviously, I'm very grateful uh, for this opportunity uh, to come in a locker room with a, already a great team. And just to add on to that, I think it's great for me. Uh, and I just come to do just that, just add on to what's already a great team and a great locker room. Uh, my first day with the guys here was unbelievably great. Uh, great welcome uh, from top to bottom. Um, the, 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 it's a family-oriented uh, organization, and I'm very happy to be here. Um, just for you, um, you set out this year with the Suns. I wanted to give you the opportunity to kind of explain that situation. Everyone I know, you haven't really gotten the chance to do it publicly. Oh, I just feel like it's behind me now. Um, uh, we have some some stuff happened internally um, that they asked me to keep in, inside. So I'm gonna grant their wishes. Obviously, I've been working with these guys for a trade partner uh, for months now. I think, um, give or take, they did exactly what they said they was gonna do. Um, it took longer than what we all expected, but um, it got done. So. I'm thankful for my time in Phoenix. I'm thankful for my teammates. Um, I'm thankful for uh, the organization embracing me uh, the past two years. We had a great run. We, had, we did some great things in Phoenix, and we uh, turned turned that culture around. So I'm happy for those guys. I'm, uh, I wish them luck moving forward. Uh, but I'm, I'm moving on to my next chapter in my career, and that's here with Milwaukee. At what point did you realize there was going to be kind of a standoff, sort of standstill with Phoenix that you probably weren't going to be playing for a while? Was it right when that statement was released before? Oh no, we we had talks. We had talked well before that. Um, it went out publicly probably a month or two after. We had internal talks, probably around July. I think we we set the standard straight of what what, what we want to do moving forward, both sides. And um, it was a business decision from both from both sides, and I can um, honestly say that. So, um, like I said, it it, it drug out longer than what I wanted, and long, longer than what they wanted, obviously. Um, but it got done, so I'm moving forward. Jay, uh, Jim Ozarski, Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Nice to meet you, Jim. Nice to meet you. Um, so what's, uh, in that situation, there's an element that's not in your control. However, I mean, I, I'm sure you made it known in some fashion where you might want to go. Mm -hmm. So where did, where did Milwaukee fit into that in terms of looking at fit? And then I guess how did that kind of play out on your end in terms of just either working with the Suns or working with other teams? That I mean, that, I think that Milwaukee, um, uh, the, the 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 clash of two sides came together a little little like a month after conversation with with the team. Um, I think the start the talk started to pick up, uh, but I was totally letting Phoenix do whatever they felt best. They did ask me for a couple handful of teams that I preferred to go to, and I, I was appreciative of that. Um, I did not want to go to um, a team of rebuild. Obviously, at this point in my career, I'm, um, I think I laid the foundation of being a winner in this league, and I w would like to keep doing that. And I just want to give myself an opportunity to just win at a high level. I think that was my main goal to the front office. I didn't say that I want to go to this team or this team or this team. I just wanted to give myself a chance to continue to uh, win in this league. And I think uh, Phoenix understood that and they appreciative of what I brought to, the, to their team. And that's all I can ask for uh, when it comes to this business of basketball. Steve McGarvey from the Associated Press, right? Didn't mention her earlier, but what was about Milwaukee specifically that appealed to you aside from their winning tradition the, and your background here as being a Marquette guy? Did that play any role in wanting to be here? Well, it was three factors for me. It was, um, it was obviously a, a contending winning team. Um, I felt like I can add on to that. Um, it was um, a role, having a role on a team. Um, and I think. People don't know. I'm closer to my daughter. I have a nine-year-old daughter. She stays in Chicago, and I wanted to. Um, I was okay with coming out here to the Midwest because I wanted to be closer to her, uh, and be a better father. Um, I was being, trying to be the best father I could uh, with being a professional athlete uh, on the West Coast of of of, um, of this thing. So I just wanted to be be um, closer to my child. But I, obviously, basketball was number one. Uh, being a part of a winning culture, being a part of a good team. And having a role was my check boxes of where I want to be next. Jada, she's uh, she's nine years old. J A D A. It's my only child, um, and I think uh, she's a, she's a daddy girl. So I wanted to continue to be a father and, and continue to be a, a role model for her. Jay Lance Allen from WTMJ TV. How much uh, when you came back to Milwaukee? Did you want to turn at Twelfth and Wisconsin and just go right into the Alton Wire Center? Funny funny story. I I, got, I landed here. And I took a joy ride. I dropped my family off at the hotel a little bit, and I just took a took a ride down memory lane. I went to see where I used to stay at. I rode through the, through the town, through through uh, campus. I just just embraced it and took it all in. Um, I think um, it's full circle for me in my in my, in my life. And um, 
here we are 12 years later, 11 years later, I'm back where it all started for myself and, and, and this journey. So uh, I think that, that played a major factor too. I'm sorry to leave that out, but my other list was being able to be around some fans that really embraced me and that's my Marquette family. And I think through ups and downs, they've always been there. Through all the different teams I played for, they've always been supportive and I always felt that and I'm, I'm grateful for that. I feel like that's my first time me living living on my own. I think it did mature me. Um, I was able to call home and tell mom, you don't have to pay my phone bill anymore. Um, I'm able to live on my own. I'm able to try to grow into being a man. And it started here in, my, in Marquette, so in Milwaukee. So this, this city uh, is dear to my heart. Um, it holds a special place. And I'm forever thankful for the, just the, the love that I get every time I'm here. Plan to be at the game Wednesday at Xavier's in town. Kind of, kind of market. Well, not not quite, because I want to try to bond with my teammates. I want to take this trip with the team to Chicago. I want to do everything to try to build our chemistry off the court. I don't want to get let let what's really not important at this time to get in the way. You know, I'm I'm very thankful for my Marquette family, but I do have a job to fulfill, and I want to just get comfortable with my teammates, and that's on and off the court. So I think us traveling to Chicago, I don't want to miss that. So um, I probably try to try to catch the next one when I'm in town. What have these last few months been for you, uh, working out away and uh, trying to stay ready for the NBA? Whenever? Well, it's been hard mentally, I think, more than physical. Um, I've been I've been shouting at the TV a few times. I've cut off the TV, cursed at the TV, because I feel like I, I, I'm, I know my job. I know what I'm supposed to be doing, and that's playing basketball. And I've gotten mad at the TV and turned it off and and just sucked in my feelings a little bit. But next day, I've, I let it go and try to get back to work. So I, th I would say it's been more, more of a mental grind than physical. I've been doing what I have to do physically to keep my body in shape, to, to, to ramp up and be ready to go once the time is, uh, once, the, once, the phone call was run, uh, once the phone call happened. So I'm very thankful for that. Uh, I think I have a great team around me to keep me going, to keep pushing. My daughter did a great job of just humbling me and letting me be a better father, letting me be uh, accountable more since I'm not with the team and not traveling as much. So um, it was a very humbling experience. Um, a lot of stuff was out of my care, a lot of, a lot of my, out of my uh, power at the time, but I just, the stuff that I did control or could control, and that's working and my, my, my work ethic. So I, I stayed with it. What kind of stuff on the TV were you using Just seeing games, just, yeah. just being able to, I'm a competitor, as you all know, I like to compete. So just seeing a game where it gets chippy or, or, or one possession game with two minutes to go, I just know how much, uh, those possessions and that competitiveness, competitiveness uh, is like it's in me. So I get mad, I get frustrated because I know I'm supposed to be in those situations at, at, at some point now, and I'm three, four months of not being in that situation. So I'm like, ah, it's kind of tough for me. But like I said, it was more mental um, fatigue than anything, more 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 than physical. Are you typically a guy who watches much basketball on TV yes, when you're not playing, or do you have to do more this year because of the circumstances? I would say more this year. Um, I'm usually more watching film on my on my own teams and watching previous games or games before, you know. But now I'm, I didn't have a team, so I was more of a broad, broader audience of just watching any game and every game. I have, a, I have a setup at home where I have four TVs, and I'll just let all four play a different variety of games, and I'll just be watching for hours. So uh, this is me being able – me being – Tied into just a basketball. I'm a basketball player, but I am a man. I am a human. Uh, but I do love what I do. I do love playing basketball. Maybe four games at once, then, just yeah, just kind of rotating. Just you just picture me on my couch after long days of working in the gym and just turning on basketball and turning my phone off and just try to lock in on just NBA basketball. How do you, you go mentioned? about trying to? Oh, go ahead. So you mentioned family a lot. I know you lost your mom a few years ago. Mm -hmm. How has that changed you? And how has that made you more family? And how during this time, how did that affect you? It affected me a lot because my mom was the rock of my family. So when she passed away, I immediately became the man of the family, if you know what I mean. So it, it, I took on a lot of burdens. I took a lot of uh, good and bad stuff with my family. So uh, it just grew me up. I thought I was grown up until the point where she left me and I felt like I had some more growing up to do. And I think uh, like that was another humbling experience for me, just a slap in the face of just uh, not being where I wanted to be as a man off the court and just growing up a little bit more. And I think that helped me. I think that was a that was a, the positive sign I took from the passing of my mom. So there's nothing like a five on five NBA game mm -hmm. from a conditioning standpoint. How do you try to or how did you try to simulate that or try to get to that you know level of conditioning? Um, was just uh, run myself ragged. Uh, try to make myself throw up. Try to do uh, every everything you you could think of more. 
um, even when I get tired, try to push more. Um, I turned down. Georgia Tech was a great home for me at the time of this uh, whole thing, and they offered me to play with those guys. I just didn't want to risk anything of a twisted ankle or a minor setback for whenever the call was uh, going to happen. So I, I kindly turned that down. Same with my Marquette family. Coach Shaka Smart invited me to come get up and down with the guys, and I just – I didn't feel like I didn't feel right internally to do that because I felt like one minor setback and push me back even further once the call comes. So um, I just took that. I, I turned it down kindly and I just try to do more. And I, whatever it is, some days is more than others. Some days I'm I'm really making myself throw up. Some days I'm really um, my 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 trainer has to tell me to get all right. That's enough. Uh, but I just always felt like I could. I didn't want to leave the gym feeling like I, I could do more. I wanted to just exhaust all my physical uh, attributes and try to be as uh, ready as possible. But um, I, I just played five on five for the first time in months, so I kind of I kind of shocked myself. I was talking to the trainers. Uh, my lungs is where it needs to be, but my legs are heavy, and that's that's um, that's uh, like we all expected that. But I feel like just continue to just I laid a great foundation of being a way of just being able to just push forward. I don't have to set a foundation while I'm here. I'm already set. I just got to continue to climb and get my conditioning where it needs to be. Was your first five on five at all or just first five on five with other NBA players? Five on five with other NBA players today. Um, I know you're your own person. You have your own career and rep, but invariably here, like it, I mean, some of the guys just said, kind of like PJ in terms of the edge mm -hmm. attitude, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So what, not that it's a comparison, but they're looking forward to that haven't played against you, I guess, can you speak to that and what you feel you might be able to lend to this roster? I mean, it's funny because I've had my fair share of battles with, with every guy in the locker room, so they know exactly what I bring. I just have to bring that. Uh, I think the conversations that I've had with the guys are just be you, and I think that's a that's one of the best um, conversations you can have with a, a new teammate is just not try to change too much, just be you and blend into what we got to do, learn our concepts, learn our terminology, and just be you, and I think that's a great um, – Chester from uh, just the organization as a whole. Just continue to come in here and just be you. And um, you set a great foundation of who you are as a player. Just uh, we need that, and just be be exactly what you what you have been in the in the past. And that's what I try to be, and I'm, uh, that's what I'm going to shoot for. Uh, just try to add on to what I said is already a great team. You've been in the league for a while, so you've played everyone mm -hmm. in that locker room. But I'm curious, most of that team from the 2021 Finals is still there. Yeah. Um, what did you learn specifically about that team during that run? I feel like a playoff series, you get to know guys better than you do in a regular season game. Well, if you remember the year before I was in Miami and we put the, this team out, so uh, I felt like Giannis, as a, as a head of the snake, he grew up mentally, not physically that much. He, he was doing the same thing physically, but mentally I think uh, our goal was to try to break him. Let's, let's try to break the guys, break the whole team, but starting with him. And I think we had some success with that in 2021, I mean 2020. And come 2021, when I, when I saw him again in the finals, mentally he was, he was stable. Even we, 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 if you recall, we went up 2-0. We were feeling good. We were a young team. I was trying to tell my team to not feel so good because I know, like Kobe, the great Kobe said, job's not done. And I, and I, and I was trying to preach that to our guys because we were young. But I knew this, this team – had been down before and fought back. And I knew, uh, I just felt like um, it was just not a time for us to be happy. And we got a little happy on the farm is what we were saying at the time. And this team called back. Game three, if you remember, it was a good game. Uh, game four was a blowout, I believe. That just shows the mental st stability of what they're all endured and all have grown. And I think that's, that's the biggest attribute I took from two years in a row in the playoffs playing this team was just mentally they all grew up.